Good afternoon, everybody. This is Machtold. Welcome to my channel, Daily Dose of Paper. Uh, well, I actually started making this collage last week um, to put up yesterday, <laughs> something like that. But um, yeah, as I um, had just started and put my phone in, I, I, this is all I had, let's say. Um, then I got a call, um, yeah, that, that my mom wasn't doing so well. So, I mean, she's, she's fine now, or she, she's okay. So, but, um, but then it was, a, a, a quite a scare, let's say, and I had to just, I just dropped everything and went to see her. She's 90. So, you know, that, that, yeah, those things, um are gonna happen let's say but she she's she's fine i'm glad she's fine so uh but anyway i was busy with that for like two days and then uh then uh, i had to do all kinds of other stuff and then i got sick so i'm actually a little bit sick now so if you hear sniffing or coughing or i'm slightly out of breath you know forgive me that's just i mean it will it will pass it's nothing serious it's not uh covid uh, but um uh, it sure felt like it but it, but it's not so i'm glad and uh, so i thought okay i just wanted to continue this collage or actually start it uh, really properly because the thing is um you know as you know i i, I follow um um k3n uh, cloth tails like a like a mad woman like her stitching things and uh and her prompt at some point was home uh, she started it i think for her wonky wednesday video and then continued it for the monday video well anyway check her channel out um well i think actually a lot of you have come over from her channel <laughs> so you already know what i'm talking about and thank you by the way for for coming over here um but as i'm dealing with my arms you know uh, being not so uh, yeah they're a bit uh, injured uh, strained let's say the ligaments and nah, whatever doesn't matter I, I went back from stitching to collage and I to make a long story short I thought I will do this prompt the home one and maybe another one as well I will do it in paper and so you know what is home to me yeah really literally it's my home I love my home my house this is not my house uh, these are pictures uh, from an old children's book of mine actually oh i put it way up under a lot of stuff well anyway it, it's a really old book and it was one of my children's book about magic and dragons and anyway lovely drawings and um so i just cut some stuff out and some other things from from another like a cat uh, because i have two cats and so I thought, yeah, my home is my house and um, I love nature and obviously my son, who in this picture you see somebody, you know, biking into the world. And I thought, yeah, that could be my son, you know, although my son has a little slightly different color. <laughs> so I thought maybe I would even, I could even... Uh, uh, draw him oh here I'm, I thought where did I put my pencils just color it a little bit um, like he would say I'm moccacino so he's a bit moccacino beautiful beautiful color so um, I'm just gonna draw it a little bit I don't know if he would agree with this color but anyway um so um yeah so that's home to me and you know seeing my son um growing up and and going out into the world uh and conquering the world of course is uh, when it's up to him and um and then we have our two cats and the two cats absolutely love my son so i thought it's so cute it's like you can see them uh, i can see them um uh, watching him go you know so i thought let's let's start with that and then of course i want to do some other things because 
This is originally um, a stitching prompt. So now I have to see how I'm going to glue this down, actually, because... Okay, where I will... Uh, I will just do that here. Let's make a little mark. Is this good? Is this all right? Or... Yeah, I think so. I think... First, I will... I think I will first glue this down, actually. Where's my glue thingy? Well, I will do it on... on piece of wax paper even. Um, <coughs> <coughs> sorry sorry people forgive me that's gonna happen yeah that's the thing and eh? when when you know when the when the sh hits the fan it's uh, it really hits it let's say then everything or 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 murphy's law when everything that can go wrong, will go wrong, something like that. Yeah. Well, that's what it feels like a little bit. But I mean, you know, pff, not really. I really don't want to complain, to be honest. If you see everything that's going on in the world with wars and with nature. Um, yeah. You know, how do you call that? Um, floods and stuff like that. Oh, see a little bit higher because of this. Yeah, I don't want to complain too much. This is just something that can happen in life, let's say. Yeah, and then I thought by putting this here. Wacht even. Oh, this I already put together. Wow, incredible. Uh, should I put it under a little bit? I think so. I think so, like this maybe. Yeah, and then this like that, okay. So, I don't know if I'm doing that smart. Let's first glue down this whole thing. This whole thing. Oh yeah, and I actually also wanted to use some threads from uh, like cutoffs um, because I used to have like an, an ord for only for cutoffs um, for like the short end of threads that you cut but now I also have with long lengths you know so I hope I can get back to stitching soon because i really 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 miss it you know that is just uh, stitching has become just really oh hey okay oh yeah hey, i have another plan also like this i think yeah 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 okay so we won't glue everything down yet all right no, this had to wait for this. I think that's okay. Yeah. Um, yeah, stitching really... It, it just... Uh, I've, I've said it before. It makes me really calm. And it's... Uh, I just really miss it when I cannot do it, you know. And... Um, yeah, I think that's okay like this. Um... And I also read it somewhere. I don't know. I don't remember where I read it. But actually that, <coughs> that stitching, you know, this kind of cantha stitching. Um, yeah, that it really helps. Um, it's, it's not just me, <laughs> you know. So I'm, I'm really advising everybody uh, if you feel stressed or whatever. No, see, this cat really should be here. If you feel stressed, just really, really start stitching. Or gluing, it's also okay, I guess. See, I think that is cute. So the kitten goes here, the little one. I hope you can see it. I think I will 
also use some um, a little bit highlights or paint whatever to um, to make them stand out a little bit paint on them or yeah I hope I do I keep those things here? Oh, no. Well, just a minute. Just a minute. Not everything at once. I think I also wanted to put some gold. Well, then so I should wait a little bit with this one, maybe. Uh, wait even. Wait. Sorry. Yeah. Just a little strip of gold, just because I like it. So, yeah, that's the thing. At home can be, you know, can be something different for everybody. I mean, you know, you can have a beautiful house and, and still not feel at home. Or you can have like a tiny little hut and feel really at home. Yeah. And I have neither. I don't have a hut and I don't have a, a giant house. But I do have a lovely, lovely home, I feel like. It has, um, it's full of stuff, of course, uh, you know, like a... It's, I, I've made it into like, um, you know, a work studio, basically. So there's a lot of stuff in it, but, um, and some people tell me, oh, I could not live there, but I, but I find it very gezellig, you know, which is a typical Dutch word for like cozy and cool and, uh, yeah, just uh, cute, you know, I don't know how to, that's, there's no real translation, I think, for it in, in English. Um, homely, homey, homey. <laughs> um, yeah, so people always feel right at home here, even though they say, if my, you know, I couldn't deal with so much stuff and, you know, I can't really blame them. Um, you know, once you start stitching or, or have a love for paper, yeah, you kind of can go out of control a little bit, right? Now, I do miss a little bit here, but I can always uh, put a little bit extra here on the corner. It's a bit fiddly. I don't know. Can you see what I'm doing? It's a bit big, this glue stick for this tiny little piece. So, and I will cut that off later, trim it. Okay. So that's that. Um, then this is important because, you know, the Dutch skies, famous, uh, you know, from paintings, let's say. They can be quite ominous also. And this is just a piece of paper that I don't know quite what I did with it, but I sprayed it with inks and coffee and tea and probably all that stuff and I thought yeah that could be like cloudy or and then I thought of the proverb of course every cloud has a silver lining like yeah I, I translate that uh, to the yin and the yang or just you know nothing really goes without the other let's say um or no one goes without the other. I don't know how to translate it. But I thought, in my case, since I love gold so much, I thought, why not give it a, a gold lining? Like every cloud, in Machtel's case, has a golden lining. So let's see if this wax still works. I have here my uh, um, water brush. And I think I can just do that. So this is kind of, uh, yeah, it will be a little bit of a mixed media 
collage and, and mixed media, not in the sense that I use uh, all kind of stencils and stamps and but just multi um, multi media like like paints and glue and paper and uh, pencils. In Dutch you say gemengde technieken, mixed techniques basically. So see that is a cute. Because you know, I, I love a little bling. Um, it's it's just very subtle, and that is also it stands for like I say the way I try to live my life. I'm not saying that I always succeed, but uh, for those who know me, um, but um, yeah. Every cloud has a golden lining. Okay, I will just stick it down. And oh yeah, what I also wanted to say, uh, I went to visit my old job. Um, hey Joram, if you're watching. <laughs> um, yeah, and, and that is my, my job. Um, I was a social worker for a long time in a, psychiatric uh, hospital for quite some time more than 10 years or something and um, I had lovely 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 colleagues there and one of those colleagues uh, recently oh, I have to get it straight uh, recently um, yeah messaged me like Oh, there's so many uh, sick people here. Uh, can you can you come and help out? And uh, yeah, and that did tickle me a little bit. Like I haven't done this job for a long time, so you know, I I I, I thought, I, yeah. I, and I, to be honest, I don't know if I still can do that job. And also, if I want to, that's what I told him. So I said, you know what? I first have to come by there and, and see how I feel, if that is something that I could still do. And um, yeah, so I went to visit him and uh, I saw other colleagues and it was, I gotta say, it was really nice to see everybody and everybody was so nice and, and friendly. And uh, yeah, but to do that job again? No, I don't think I could. No, I have a different, different life, and I don't think I can uh, be that professional anymore. You know what I mean? Like, um, you have to be, of course. Not that you you can't be a human, but um, like I don't know if I could. Um, distance myself, let's say, enough. Um, yeah. Wait, let me clean this glue thing. This is a very nice glue, but it's a bit big. I got this in Belgium, I think, because I had forgotten my glue stick. <coughs> Excuse me, people. Um, but anyway, but it was really nice to, to visit, like I said, and, um, um, what am I looking for now? I'm looking for, oh, did I put them away, my markers? Oh, that is not so smart of me. Well, let's see then if I can do it with, uh, with this. Um. Maybe highlight it a little bit with, with, I uh, don't know if that works, right? With, with, um, aquarel pencil, or the, how do you call that? Um, uh, watercolor pencil I have. Maybe I can just highlight it a little bit better. Yeah, maybe does this help? But anyway, so that was that was quite an adventure, I have to say, and and 
um, yeah. So thank you, Joram, for inviting me again there. And I might do, you know, I, I wouldn't, I wouldn't mind doing like once a week or something. You know what I mean? Like, um, or as a volunteer maybe, uh, because I do have a love for, uh, for the people there, let's say that are, uh, going through, uh, yeah, you know, going through a hard time. And um, so I would mu much rather, for instance, <laughs> do something like this with them, <laughs> you know, make art with them. Um, I think that's more my thing now than, uh, yeah, than be the social worker. So we'll see. I have, I missed here a spot, of course. Um, but you know what? I think I'm just gonna color that also with some pencil. And um, maybe also I want some, some pinkish stuff or reddish stuff in it, you know, because um, so I can draw myself some, some. other flowers in it why not I can do do anything i want it's my home right it's my house so i don't know what these are what kind of flowers but that doesn't matter you know they're just flowers so Yeah. So yeah, that was on Wednesday that I went to uh, um, went to visit there, and then uh, on Thursday um, I got a call that my mom was really sick, and I I really had to rush over there and and. Just drop everything. And I really, yeah, that was a bit scary because I wasn't sure how I was uh, going to find her, let's say. And, uh, and she was really sick, but she's doing much better now. So that is good. I think she, she, she probably ate something wrong or something. But um, no, this 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 one is a bit I don't know a bit much or not what I had in mind. Uh, let's see. Do I have here also a pen maybe? Oh yeah. Mm, but this is no ah, well, no no no. This is not what I want. Oh, I see. This pen is really dripping also, so it's giving a bit too much water. I will have to fix that later, but I think I will let it dry, and maybe then I will do it with, um, uh, what's it called? Sorry if I tap my nails. Um, I'll do that when I'm thinking. Do it with some acrylic paint or something, but I kind of left that outside, like in my outside room. Okay, what do you think? Is the gold line can be a bit more, right? So, can be a bit more. Yeah, a golden line is a golden line. So, Okay. Lovely. 
and the thing is i had planned with with also with some markers but like i said i i don't know where i put them that's really silly 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 of me uh what do you think so far what can i do it with maybe with this thin um what is this the micron no this is pentel pentel okay a pen fine liner with all these different so these are the cats my lovely two cats one is called pika and one is called coco and they both oh they just adore my son I mean, they love me too, but, you know, don't get me wrong. But my son, whew. yeah. Okay. Oh, I thought that this would work better on the paper, but it's okay. You get the idea. And then I had in mind, uh, let's put this away, to put some of this green. Not the blue, this is a tiny little blue thing. Don't want that. Just a little bit, just a little bit. What do you think? I think I, I want to. So what I'm going to do, I have here a uh, matte gel medium or matte gel. It's called actually matte gel. And I will just put a little bit here. Oh, did I uh, hit, hit the phone with my head? I think so. I will just put some here. And maybe also on the cat, why not? The cat is sitting in the grass. And then I just put some of the... So this is my ort, uh, like the small ends, eh? like a short ends, as I said. And then just put it here. And maybe also on it. Is that a good idea? To kind of because it will dry clear. Uh, these are, by the way, yeah, nice houses that you could see in in the Netherlands very much, very often, like also in Amsterdam on the canals or. But um, it's not my house. But I grew up in, you know, in Amsterdam, like that. So, I think I need to let this dry now. That's what I think I have to do. And I wanted to, that's the thing, see, I know I wanted to do something because this is originally a stitch prompt. I wanted to, do, 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 do. do I have, I do have some white here. Well, let's see, the black. Like what kind of stitches would I do here? You know, or maybe, maybe I'm just gonna, Paint a little bit or play around with a little bit, draw, change the flowers a little bit. Oh, that I could do. Put some color in this flower. How about that? Because it has also a little bit of that orangey color in it already. Yeah. 
so and i normally don't really collage in this uh, way actually you know i usually do more abstract collage or um stuff like that but sometimes it's really nice and i also love to watch people who who do like surreal collage kind of collage or they collage with with things from like magazines as as i used to as a kid you know oh i had whole blue books full of my favorite movie stars or musicians and uh like a rose kind of look so just play a little bit with it um but i think i like it like this actually oh yeah while this is drying because i still I, I will cut off this I think, well, maybe I don't need to, but I think I will cut it off. Although now that I'm looking, well, I'll see. Um, I did do this, but I didn't film it. Remember, I just was just, uh, you know, trying to get back in the game. So I really like these as well. And I like to, you know, to make these especially. <laughs> yeah, to just put color down and, and marks and um stitching of course is also kind of mark making so i'm thinking i'm just gonna enhance the stuff a little bit the colors in this picture This is actually this this picture reminded me so much of um, because I part I grew up partly in Amsterdam and partly in um, uh, the north of Holland, uh, Bergen, Alkmaar near near the coast, let's say. And um, there you have the the dunes, dunes you call it, yeah, yeah, the leading to the beach, and this 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 landscape kind of reminded me. Of that, so I grew up partly in Amsterdam, and uh, and then also in in here. So, yeah, that's. I thought that was a nice uh, nice touch for myself. Oh, you know what? I feel like I feel like giving him a. Uh, what kind of hat would he wear? Well, he likes, you know what he likes? One of his favorite colors is, is kind of turquoise or this is more phthalo, phthalo blue. And this is his favorite color. So, oh, make his head that color. It's not so clear, but... Yeah. Just a little bit, just a little accentuating or yeah, trees beautiful, big trees. So I think that is it for now. This is my prompt um based on on k3 and cloth tales her um um wednesday and monday video i think well two weeks ago now yeah but anyway this is it i hope you enjoyed watching uh i will be back next time with uh, something else i think maybe i will do something else um with paper um as I'm still healing now, the thing is, this one is, is feeling a little bit better, but now this arm is starting because I think I, yeah, if you cannot use this arm, you start to use that arm and, oh yeah, I don't know what's, what's going on. But anyway, 
uh, I will be fine. So no worries. And I will be here with um, something else. We'll see. So I hope you have a lovely day. And thank you for watching and for supporting me and for, yeah, um, yeah, just thank you a lot. <laughs> okay, have a lovely day. Bye-bye.